Every fourth the world all over marks World Cancer Day and Uganda too takes part of this cause. However, the number of children diagnosed with cancer is worrying experts. Figures indicate an increase in the number of children with cancer by over a half in the last couple of years. This increase has been attributed to the lack of preventive measures in fighting the different types of cancers. Annually, over 7,000 babies are diagnosed with cancer in Uganda, unlike in adults where contribution of risk factors stemming from the increasing use of drugs, physical inactivity, and consumption of fatty foods. For children, it is genetic factors and infections. In most cases of children who have cancer, first of all, it's typically children who are younger, in the range of about 4 to 10 years. You know, they haven't lived around long enough to get a lot of the exposures that we think of as things that cause cancer. You know, they haven't smoked, drunk alcohol, you know, they haven't had many infections long enough, and they haven't been exposed to industrial chemicals and so on and so forth. So really we don't know the vast majority, around 90% of cases of childhood cancer, we don't have a specific reason we can use to explain why that child got cancer. In the rare cases when you have an explanation in Uganda, we know it's been because of HIV infection. That is becoming very rare because most children in Uganda right now are under treatment. And also because uh, HIV in children in Uganda is becoming very rare. At the moment, you're talking about 3,000 new cases of HIV infection uh, in newborns in Uganda. And just for your comparison, we estimate around 7,000 new cases of children with cancer. The commonest cancers in Uganda include blood cancer, kidney cancer and muscle cancer. What is good though is that these cancers in children can be cured. Basically three ways we treat cancers. One is using drugs, um, whether in the vein or swallowed by mouth. Two is radiation therapy, where you use some type of electricity to kill cancer cells. And three is surgery, where you try to remove a tumor by surgically removing it. Now, in children, in general, because most of their cancers respond very well to drugs, we predominantly use chemotherapy. Uh, however, for some tumors in children, you need a combination of drugs and surgery, or drugs and radiation therapy in order to cure them. But also for, for adults, at the moment, we are concentrating on those areas which have got a high burden of burden districts and we, should, we shall soon be available across the country. In Uganda, World Cancer Day has been marked at the parliamentary grounds under the theme, We Can, I Can. This report by Dennis Wonyala for New Vision TV. Thank you.